I'm Sal, a naturalist here at Superior National Forest. It's June, which means many flowers are blooming, including orchids. Some of the orchids have spectacular showy flowers, but others are interesting for different reasons. Let's take a look. One orchid you may see along the trails in early summer is spotted coral root. It grows up like stalks of asparagus with tiny flowers with a white lower lip and purple speckles. Do you notice anything odd about this orchid? Where are the leaves? And without them, how will it photosynthesize the energy it needs? The answer is that this orchid is a thief. It is a parasite, making its living by stealing energy from others. The theft happens down here, below ground, where our parasitic orchid has partners in crime, fungi. Now, many kinds of plants have fungal partners below ground, including these trees. And for most of them, it's a sort of, you do something for me, I'll do something for you, mutualism. A web of thread-like fungal roots called hyphae surround the plant's roots and actually grow into them. This image isn't specifically orchid, but is just an example of hyphae. They supply the plant with some of what it needs to live, water, minerals, and nitrogen. In return, the plant produces sugars from photosynthesis, which it then shares back with the fungi. Coral root and its fungi behave differently. The orchid, instead of supplying the fungi with sugars in a mutually beneficial relationship, steals the sugar the fungi got from other plants and gives nothing back. It's impossible to say if the fungi is just an accidental accomplice to the theft of sugar from other plants, or if it's doing the coral roots bidding like the minion to a criminal mastermind. While the forest may look peaceful above ground, now you know what is really happening in the underground world where this small plant is the criminal overlord of a fungal empire. <laughs>